So you wanna learn how to create text inside of Midjourney. Well, I have some good news. It's super easy, barely an inconvenience, except for when it doesn't work very well, but I have some tips for that too. Let's get right to the first example. All you need to do to generate text inside of an image is to put the words in quotation marks. That's it. It does not have to be more complicated than that. Look how simple this prompt is. Tony the Tiger, in quotation marks, business card. Now what I just showed you might be the most simple way of writing a prompt, but you can get much more elaborate with your words and directions. A painting is split into two. The left side is blue and the right side is pink. Pink, in quotation marks here, is written on the left side in pink writing. Blue, in quotation marks here, is written on the right side in blue writing. And look at this. It it created what I described. That's how powerful Midjourney version six is, and that's how much room you have to explore and experiment with this new style of prompting. Here's an example of the same prompt at a lower stylized value. This is stylized 40. The default is 100, by the way. And look how cool it is. It follows what I asked for. I think that's just so much fun. But I don't wanna sell you on some sort of dream. It doesn't always work perfectly. You're gonna get some false positives, like here's the full grid. <laughs> it's it, it is not perfect except for number one which is exactly what we wanted try not to get too frustrated while you're generating images with text it takes a little bit of finessing and if you're new here my name is nolan i think ai technology is amazing and it's my goal to teach it in a way that's easy to understand if you're learning something so far leave a like on this video so we can share it with more people so what are the best parameters for generating text well after a bit of experimentation i have two main suggestions for you the first is an admission that you don't really know what's going to happen and therefore you should experiment. Now, what should you be experimenting with? That is the stylized value and the style raw parameter. So if I was writing a prompt, I would do something like this. We're gonna say, imagine a neon sign that says future tech pilot. Again, you could rewrite that little sentence in a few different ways. Maybe something like a neon sign, quotation, future tech pilot. Maybe you could try quotation future tech pilot written in a neon sign using natural language works really well but just keep in mind there's no exact formula feel free to try different things and remember mid journey is a slot machine this is the most fun casino game you can play in my opinion you're not always gonna win you're not always gonna hit the jackpot just again try not to get frustrated okay back to the prompt a neon sign that says future tech pilot and then to save time i'm gonna write my parameters as permutations for the stylized values i would write dash dash s squiggly bracket and then i would include 0 40 100 is the default 200 300 you can go a little bit higher than that but at a certain point the risk is not worth the reward higher stylized values means mid journey has more creative control and therefore it's not really going to follow your prompt as you would expect. But I'm not done there. I'm gonna put another squiggly bracket, a comma, dash dash, style, space, raw. Close it with a squiggly bracket. Now what I just did was write 10 different prompts within the space of this one prompt. If you hit enter, it's gonna ask you if you wanna generate these 10. If you aren't sure what you did, you can click this button here, show prompts, and it's going to give you a list of what you're about to generate. Basically, all you need to know is that I wanted to test that prompt in different stylized values and with style raw. So here it is at S0, S0 style raw, S40, S40 style raw. These are the parameters I would test, and I don't think you need any chaos value. Chaos is going to give you a lot more variety, but when we're generating text, I don't think variety is really what we're looking for. What I'm recommending to you is that you test your prompt in these 10 different ways. You can write them out one at a time for sure. Permutations is just going to save you some effort. And again, the reason I'm suggesting you try 10 different variations of every prompt is because we don't really know what's going to work. I've seen low stylized values work awesome and I've seen high stylized values work awesome. So that's my advice is that you're just gonna want to experiment. Now, while those are generating, let me give you some more tips that you might wanna know. First is that capital letters do make a difference. Here's a prompt, a name tag that says Optimus written in robotic quantum processor font. Optimus is lowercase and as you can see here, all of the generations use lowercase letters. The exact same prompt 
except for capital letters, and each of the generations included capital letters. Keep that in mind. Whatever you put inside of the quotation marks will appear. That includes capital letters like I showed you, but also symbols. Whatever's in the quotations is what you're going to get. The next tip I have for you might seem like common sense. Best results will come from prompting for things that commonly have text written on them. For example, a license plate or a post-it note. Tattoos are a good one, like this is pretty cool. A welcome mat would work or something like a door sign. Do you get what I'm trying to say? The more stereotypical you make your prompt, the better chance you have of generating specific text where you want it to be. You could also try something like a speech bubble, which I use for the thumbnail of this video. I thought that idea also worked really well. Like, look how funny that is. Now I wanna talk to you about fonts. How much control do you really have over the text that gets generated? Spoiler alert, not that much control. For starters, you cannot specify a real font. It's not going to work. However, you can specify the general category of font you want to see, but that doesn't work completely either. I tried a bunch of them, and there are only a handful that worked as expected. It doesn't really understand serif very well or any other type of fonts in that way. Like here, I tried to generate it with a slab serif font, and maybe in number four you can see the serifs, but look at the rest of them. Just because you might get lucky with a particular generation doesn't doesn't mean that Midjourney understood what you asked for. So I'd have to say that this myth is busted. Don't worry too much about specific types of fonts. However, the idea of a decorative font worked pretty well in style raw and without it. Asking for a thin font sort of worked. I think you could argue there's something here. The text does seem to be a little thinner than others, especially compared to a thick font. This typography is clearly different than generating for thin. Asking for italics did not not work at all. Handwritten worked really well. I suppose you could have asked for cursive writing in some sense, but handwritten is a strong signal to mid-journey. Along the same idea, a script font was a really good word to use. Okay, let me show you one more fun example before we get back to the neon sign. I think it might be obvious, but the shorter words you choose, the more likely you are to get what you want. But that didn't stop me from trying to generate song lyrics on a pretty picture. I chose some lyrics from a Jimmy Eat World song. It's a pretty old tune by now. It's called The Middle. Live right now. Yeah, just be yourself. It doesn't matter if it's good enough for someone else. Now, full disclosure, I did not think this would work, but I still found the results to be kind of funny, at least worth showing. And for the rest of the prompt, I asked for a cute picture at nighttime, old photograph from the 1990s, cute song lyrics are written in the middle of the photo. And then we get some generations like these. It gets maybe 60% of the words correct correctly, but clearly it cannot handle any sort of run-on sentence. Look how cool this picture is. It's just written on a sign in a corner off center. I could see this feature becoming a lot more powerful in the future. S40 style raw, I think is much more of what I was expecting. Just like front and center kind of white light lyrics written over the photo. Oh, like these are so cool. And obviously this would be way easier to create in Photoshop, but at least this is a glimpse, I think. Within a few months, maybe, you'll be able to generate them right here. Like, that's so cool. Okay, let's go back to those neon signs we created and see which parameters really help the most. Again, I don't think there's any way to know until you test it. Here we are at S0. I kind of like this sign down here, number three. S0 style raw. Not quite, but I don't know, maybe number four here isn't bad. And then we have stylized 40. This one's pretty good here and that's basically all I'm expecting is one good one out of the whole grid. S40 style raw and like look at number three. That is so cool. Here's the default value stylized 100. 0 for 4. None of these were good. Default style raw. 0 for 4. So what does that show us? It shows us that the slot machine isn't going to work every time. I'm not convinced that the default value is in any way the wrong one to use. I'm just showing you here that lowering the stylized value might be the answer for you, or it might get you the answer quicker is a better way of putting it. Stylized 200, 200 style raw. This is looks kind of cool. I like the idea here in number two. 300, not quite. 300 style raw. Mm. I mean, maybe it's a little closer and there's some promise here, but it's not that good. So what can we do? Well, there's actually a few things. 
First, I want you to go into your settings. You can do that by hitting forward slash settings in the prompt box on Discord. First, I want you to have remix mode off and you wanna make sure that you have high variation mode on. And put simply, what we're going to do is hit the variation button underneath the images that we think could work out. I'm not gonna lie, 99% of the success I've had so far comes from the variation button, specifically strong variations. So we're gonna take this image here hit V2 and I'm betting you that mid journey is gonna figure it out I mean look at that look how much closer we are just from hitting strong variations on nonsense now what I would do from here is to continue hitting strong variations on the ones that are closest some might call that V rolling in the mid journey community now these didn't work out very well but there is another thing you can try First is that you can upscale one that you want to experiment on further. Unfortunately, the two upscales are not going to fix the image very much. They'll change them, but it's not what we want. Instead, we're going to want to hit very subtle and very strong from here. That's just another way to get more variations. This is really a numbers game at this point. How many times can you pull the lever on the slot machine? You'll see in this example that the subtle variations didn't really do that much. Even though it might have fixed something small, a lot of the problems are still there. Meanwhile, strong variations are getting us a lot closer. I could see it almost here in number four and pretty much here in number what future tech almost pilot so again i would hit variations underneath the images i thought were close and eventually you're going to get somewhere it's going to work it just might take a little while i mean like oh we got pretty close here in number four future but there is one more thing you can try to help your odds with the slot machine and that involves the remix feature again you can find this inside of your settings make sure remix mode is green and now every time you hit a variation button a new prompt box will appear this allows you to change the prompt and what we're going to change is the stylized value so instead of s200 i'm gonna drop it down to s50 i may even take out the stylized and style rock completely there is no right answer these are just some things you're gonna have to experiment with on your own i'm actually gonna do the same thing for very strong here's the subtle remix at s50 and you know what maybe we're just that much closer i think number two has a lot of potential deleting the stylized and style raw with remix subtle it didn't work out that well whatever just make a note of that and maybe don't try that one the next time here's the s50 remix with strong variations and we're, we're kind of close i mean this is pretty ugly in number three but it's not that far off and we're literally only one letter off here in number one and here's the strong remix without style raw or stylized values i think you could argue here that maybe we strayed a little too far from what we wanted i just want to reiterate there are no right answers these are just the things that i would do while i I'm experimenting to try and find what I'm looking for. By the way, I got something that I kind of like here, Future Tech Pilot. That was after a few strong variations. You've gotten a glimpse at how I like to prompt for things, but if you want even more exclusive prompts and first impressions of new AIs, check out my Patreon page if you're interested in supporting. Thanks. But wait, there's more. There is at least one more thing that I think you can do with this feature. You know, generating a lot of text is a little difficult. So you might want to split it up. And I took this picture here. It's a cartoon robot with a speech bubble that says you can say anything. I have remix turned on. So I hit the variation buttons and then I added almost anything in brackets is written in the bottom right. And I found that worked extremely well in a bunch of different scenarios. Like, look how perfect that is. You can say anything, almost anything. And that was added in just through the remix feature. I do want to show you this one as well. It's the same idea, same prompt. You can say anything, but then it added in this sort of gibberish down here. Well, when I used the remix feature and added in what else I wanted it to say, it took that gibberish at the bottom and it used it as like a template for that phrase I wanted. Almost anything perfectly in brackets down here. That is so cool. I also want to mentioned that in painting would help a ton unfortunately that feature just isn't available right now depending on when you're watching this video in painting might have been released and you'll be able to play around and fine tune your text with that tool i hope this video wasn't too long and i hope it made sense to you if you want more of a look at version 6 and what it has to offer you can check out this video here i hope you're doing well take care and i'll see you next time peace